Hey, how's it going, Weather Gang? Today I took my quarantine adventures outside to play some Kendama, and I managed to learn the spacewalk trick in about half an hour, so I want to walk you through that, and maybe you can master the trick yourself and get some good outdoor vibes if you haven't been going outside the past year. I definitely recommend, and uh, yeah, let's check out the spacewalk. So the first thing I want to get into is definitely that you know, if you're like me and you really never play Kendama or whatever you do outside, go get some fresh air, man. I mean, this was a rejuvenating for the spirit. I felt like I was, you know, one with the weeds. And it really gave me some energy, you know, getting out in the sunlight to uh, push myself to hit this trick, which I thought was going to be a whole hell of a lot easier. And uh, we'll soon see that the spacewalk is quite a difficult trick to nail, but uh, I'll show you how I managed to do it. But yeah, real quick, uh, being outside to play Dama was uh, something I was not familiar with nor prepared for, I don't think, in some aspects, because I didn't, I didn't realize how much the wind would kind of affect some tricks, especially with the string getting in the way with things like juggles, lighthouses. I found the string was like blowing all over the place, and you can see here, like the trees are hardly moving. It wasn't that windy, but uh, it had an effect nonetheless, so I can't imagine you know, if you're out there in a windstorm and you uh, manage to hit a Dama trick, uh, all, the, all the power to you. A benefit to being outside though, if I, you know, have to convince any of you really to go outside, is uh, the space. Like, it definitely feels different being outside and it gives you, I think, a little bit more confidence because you're not worried about, you know, launching the Tama or the Kendama itself like across the room. And, uh, you know, I wasn't too worried about hitting these trees or uh, smashing the dom on the grass. So it gave me gave me some freedom and really let me push myself for uh, these new tricks. So just just another reason to uh, bring a dom outside. I feel like in my backyard, all the creepy peepers next door and their two story houses can see me. But, you know, once you get over that, it's a it's a good time being outside. And I always wondered if, you know, playing outside the Tama and the Ken would get all dirty. And uh, yeah, yeah, they definitely do. The Tama, especially, like, if it's, like, a sticky paint, it'll pick up a lot of dirt. And, uh, you know, it brushes off, though. Like, it, it's not permanent damage. It's just kind of annoying because that dirt and dust will make it a little bit slippery. And then the Ken itself definitely picked up some grass stains from the drops. Kind of looked like my knees when I was, like, eight years old and would scooch across the grass like a caterpillar. But uh, besides those two things, you know, kind of minor. But uh, just something to keep note of if you are uh, taking your prized Damas outside. They might uh, might get a little wear and tear. All right, so enough about my newfound fascination with nature and into the spacewalk trick, which I will admittedly say I definitely underestimated. It's a trick that looks very easy when uh, someone can do it first try, but I found, you know, it's it's a matter of technique, and when you don't understand the technique, you can try for hours and hours, and it just won't happen, and you won't know why, and that's why I want to do my best to explain what I did to nail this seemingly simple but uh, deceptively difficult trick. So you can see you start with the Ken and Sarah grip, give a little swoosh, catch the Tama and then the Ken will come up and similar to landing an airplane, you just boink it right in there. Well, at least that's the idea. The first major thing that I noticed, which you can see in a lot of these, you know, attempts, is I end up grabbing the string. Like 90% of my issues came because I was grabbing the string and not the Tama. Not, not because I was doing it on purpose. I wasn't thinking, you know, oh, grab, grab the string. But um, if you're not watching the Tama and like making yourself, you know, grab it, catch it, focusing on actually catching the Tama, you're gonna catch the string every time. And obviously once you grab the string and the Tama's out of control, there's uh, really no hope. So if I can say probably the biggest thing, it's watch, with your eyes, I, I know I'm emphasizing it, it sounds weird, but use your eyes, watch the Tama, grab the Tama, don't catch the string, it'll save you a lot of time and headache. Because once I actually started focusing on, okay, all I care about is grabbing the Tama, it got a lot easier. Here's another thing that helped, I kind of got into the habit of throwing the trick to like my side, which if you're looking at the video here, I would throw it kind of to the left of my body, which you know, I think contributed to me grabbing the string. It just wasn't, the trick wasn't like turning in my favor, I should say. And what helped me with that is kind of throwing it up higher than you feel you should. So you'll feel like you want to keep it, you know, like eye level, but really give it a little bit extra height and avoid throwing it to your side. Throw it directly in front of you with some height and track that Tama. The height on the throw 
really helped me again just nail this trick down. Here's another little tidbit that might help you, might not. I found I could get smoother motion when I turned my body a little bit. So pivoting on that left foot and turning in, in this video's case to face the trees beside me. And I felt like when I did that, I had a bit more control of the Ken and the Tama because they were kind of to my side and not directly in front of me. You know, like I wasn't facing the trick necessarily. I was working it on my side. Now I started working with these tips that I had discovered and you can see a lot of the takes, some of them are close calls, but the grand majority of them just see the Ken flying out of the trick way too fast, like Flash and Sonic baby fast. And the reason for this is another thing that became really crucial to nailing the trick. When you catch the Tama, you don't want to turn your hand and wrist and you know like move in favor of the spinning motion because you're going to accelerate the ken way too much and it like like i'm saying it's just gonna go flying if you have the string taut and pulled tight the whole time that you're rotating with the tama in your hand it's going to go way too fast you won't have any control and the odds of you spiking it will decrease a lot I found that once I caught the Tama, you really just have to kind of let the trick flow out the way that it's going at the speed it's going, because if you kind of try to encourage the turn or, you know, go with the turn with your wrist, the Ken's going to go too quick. So really train yourself to catch the Tama and then just kind of let the Ken do what it's doing. Just relax your hand, the Ken will come around. You might need a little tug to pull it up into airplane, but if you're kind of encouraging that swinging motion of the Ken, it's going to go way too fast and you'll never spike it. Even when I ended up hitting the trick, it's not the cleanest hit and the Ken is still traveling a little bit too quickly, but uh, I managed to spike it because I was trying to emphasize, you know, slow the Ken down, just let it fall the way it's falling and don't, you know, swing with it to make it just go flying. Anyways, with all of that, hopefully you are able to go outside for a minute and nail the spacewalk. Again, if I'm going to recap, it's all about slowing that Ken down and then really watching the Tama go around so you can catch it the right way. Hopefully this was fun, a bit of a different style, kind of commentating over the outdoor clips. But uh, regardless, I hope you got something out of it. I hope you got some tips on the spacewalk or at least enjoyed my uh, struggles and journey to nailing the trick. I'll uh, leave you with the image of success of the spike in the Tama, and I hope you have a wonderful space walkie weather boy day. See you in the next one.